I'm Jamal and I'm 30 and I live in Washington, D.C. So what brought me to D.C. is I actually was in Colorado and I uh, was in the military and I got out, unfortunately, was going through a very uh, rough time, um, got divorced and uh, got into some uh, bad things, made some bad decisions. I eventually ended up kind of getting into some drugs and got pulled over for a speeding ticket one day and ended up going to jail for like 30 days. And after that, I was lucky enough to have my family support me. My brother offered, offered me to live in DC with him and to better myself and get a job. I actually really enjoyed working at Starbucks. That's where I got the first job at and I was lucky enough for them to take me in. I had a really hard time actually finding a job and they're the first ones open hand to let me work with them. My brother always taught me like you dress to impress. No matter where you go, what you do, you never know when you're gonna meet your next boss. So I decided to go in and button up and dress pants and tie or bow tie and whatever kind of fit for the day. I actually had this great customer always um, connected with every time I saw him. One day I told him, I was like, hey, you know, just going to school right now, studying, uh, learn to become an IT support specialist. And he's like, well, that sounds so great. Um, let me know whenever you're done. I actually work at an IT company and they're always hiring. And I was like, hey, I'll definitely keep that in mind because, you know, connections are always great. And he ended up giving me his email so I could send out my resume. Going through the interviews was a pretty long process. It took about three to four weeks. And every time I went through an interview, I was always uh, prepared with the little bit of clothes I had at the time. Once I was offered the job, which I was super excited for, my next thing that I was actually worried about was what I was gonna wear at work. I was able to end up buying a couple new shirts and pants, but I couldn't figure out how to get some belts and shoes that I could not afford at the time. So I ended up posting up online to barter my services for some shoes and belts. And I just thought, I'm like, hey, if I can do it and I can find some work to do, then, you know, I, somebody out there might have my actual size of shoes or belts. I posted it up at like 10 o'clock at night on a Thursday. And by Friday at 8 a.m., I couldn't even keep up with all the comments. They were just offering shoes or belts for me or clothes, saying that I don't even need to do any work. Nobody wanted my services. I was lost for words. It was so heartwarming. I ended up getting about 15 pairs of shoes and three belts and I had so many more offers that I actually had to turn down because I just I couldn't accept it all. It was really nice knowing that the community is there to help when you really need it. I like I was so lost for words I was almost in tears at one point. My next goal is just to save up. I really want some suits. I definitely know that that's one of my biggest goals is working at a job and in a suit and just doing it piece by piece. Paycheck by paycheck. I'm super motivated and I'm gonna keep dressing the part until I find my dream job. I set him up at Men's Warehouse and we did a great virtual fitting via Zoom. We also did a tailoring session because I wanted his clothing to fit him beautifully. Now I gave him three dressier outfits, all with different hints of flavor, which you're gonna see. A lot of people have the misconception when it comes to menswear that it's either super fancy, like a three-piece suit, or super casual, like jeans and a tee, and they're not quite sure what all of that in between is. So I'm here today to show you. All right, we're gonna start, hopefully Jamal's there too. Jamal, are you there? How's everything going? Hi, Hi look at you. Oh, you look great. You look so handsome and very cool. Thank you. So this is the classic look. I wanted him in one beautiful suit. I love the bold blue color of this. This is actually a Michael Strahan suit. I know he's a buddy of yours on the show. He is. Um, and we love, love, love this classic suit. Now, let's talk suiting. I'm gonna geek out on this. Okay, so number one, when it comes to suiting, I want people to get the idea of off the rack out of their heads. It doesn't exist, okay? You need to find a tailor and make him or her your best friend. You're gonna always have to bring the pants up a bit and usually you're gonna to wanna to bring the jacket in a little bit to create a beautiful slim trim silhouette. Now let's get to the pants. So the pants you wanna go for either no break and that's where it's gonna hit you right at the top of your shoe to half a break which is halfway down the middle of your shoe. Oh, look at that! That one right there. What? Come on. Oh man. Come on. Come on. The last look I love, you know I had to give you something playful. So you're gonna see this gorgeous textured gray suit, but I paired the suit Ooh. with a beautiful oh, pink man. sweater. 